Hello guys and welcome to another Hearthstone deck video. Today we will play some Miracle Maligaus Rogue deck. Decklist that was played by IE Children over the last couple of days. Now he was able to take down the number one spot on the legend ladder on the North American server with the deck. So quite good. And he had a super high win rate against the midrange shamans. So if you are facing too many of those, let's take out the deck list here and play some Maligas Rogue deck. We are playing against the mage here and the starting hand looks pretty fine. We can just keep that, have the preparation. So let's do it. Had a nearly 80% win rate with the deck. Well, that's quite an achievement. So we want to take care of the mana whim right away. Could be, but we could also wait one turn and see what he is planning. We have the preparation so we can play um, two spells next turn. That's only a babbling book. And we also got the backstab. So let's play the backstab here and use the shift to take care of the mana burn. Drawing another card, there's an agent. We're gonna probably play that as well next turn. If we can find a right target for that, that's only a torch. Well, that's not the right target. Then we might just want to play the weapon here, taking care of the babbling book. Just got the auction here. So definitely want to keep some of the spells for the auction here. We have a coin, we have the preparation. So potentially can play at least three spells when we play the auction here on turn three, uh, on turn six. Oh, just hitting the face. Face, face, face. Let's give us another coin, please. Thank you. More to the face, maybe. Break. That is not face damage. So we could clear the drag here with the Tom Pillager, but we can also just play um, the agent with the Viserate, for example. Put coin here into the with the raid and then play the agent as well. Yeah, that might be better. Then we will miss out. We would miss out one mana. Oh, let's just play the auction here now. Then we will draw two cards. Wesh Burglar. And there's an Edwin. Five in the face. He's definitely targeting the auction here now. But he has lost one Frostball, one Torch. So maybe he needs to use a Fireball here. There you go, that's a Fireball. Ooh, another preparation. That could be a big Edwin. The Smash Burglar. Smash Burglar. Now we can play Preparation, Eviserate, Agent, Edwin. Oh, so well, that's decent. Ha, this guy's toast. Much damage in the face. The Down to 14. Edwin is an 8 8. So he needs to clear the Edwin here. Definitely. Violence portal is of course not enough. So he would need two um, spells if he's not getting a uh, holy morph. Crossbot, okay, that is also helpful. Fresh Burglar, please give us a nice damage spell. Spellbinder. Mm, might be useful. Definitely. Here we go. 
Take care of the Drake. This guy's toast. Get another hey, lights nine out. points in the face. And we're also playing the Spell Bender here. So his best, his best play would be a Flame Strike. Then you can clear the whole board. Now that's only Firelands portal and that is hitting the Spell Bender. But even if he's hitting the Edwin, wouldn't get that good stuff to win the game here. We have just the zap. So the pound would go into his hand back. Second game is unfortunately a hunter. That is a tough matchup. Because the hunter is pushing so much damage. And we might not go for our combo fast enough. Starting with the Smash Burglar, Shift, Eviscerate, and also an agent. So we can coin into that into two. Depending on what he is playing here. He's starting with a secret keeper. And still we will play the Smash Burglar. If he's playing a secret on turn 2, he will be a 2-3. So we need some help for the agent. We might attack the Smash Burglar and take him out. Power shot. Hmm, okay. We can use that properly. And the grandmother. So still, 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 killing the Smash Burglar. Power shot might be very useful. But right now we can't play it. If we had the preparation here, we could clear the whole board. For well, now, let's just play the shift. Find another card. That's the preparation. Yeah, it comes a bit too late. Eagle Hornbow. So oh, we are just dropping the bombs here. Might find a decent minion. And we got the option here. Hmm, okay. So, we have the preparation. And we can play another spell then. Already got the Malagos, that is way too early. Well, let's just use the Wither right here to hit the face. Really don't want to um, drop the 3-2 at the moment. So he might want to attack you with the kindly grandmother on the auctioneer and we're just killing it with the power shot for example. Locked Huntress. And he will attack the face with a weapon. So there is a cloaked Huntress. So we don't have any, wow, don't have any secrets. That is pretty good. Play the Swish Burkler, find another nice card. Kill Command, that is fine. Let's play the backstep here. Power shot. Clearing both minions. And three in his face. Secret. Secret. Oh, he is just hitting the face. Interesting. Let's try to figure out what that is. Let's hit him first. If that's a freezing trap. We will get small Smash Burglar back. Apparently not. Do you have snake trap there? That is possible. Definitely. On with the show! Could also be a snipe. Apparently not, so let's just hit him in the face. Might be a snack trap. Snake trap or a catch trick, of course. Another secret. And again just hit him in the face. So currently we win the damage race.
a tango? Well, let's try again if that's uh, also not a snake trap. So interesting. It is the explosive trap? Yeah, it is. Really fine with that. Let's kill the small hound here, then he has the cat trick there. That we won't activate at the moment. Can we finish the game next turn? We have currently 8 damage, we have the kill command. So we could just play Sinister Strike for 4 and then the agent hits the face. We will activate the cat, that will be 4 damage. Then he has another two, that's six. He could play a kill command. That will be... I can't kill us here. Ha, this guy's toast. There's a cat, of course, but he's down to eight. And he shouldn't be able to kill us. Even a double kill command wouldn't be enough. the hounds and a secret and this time he's trading that's always a good sign and even if that's an explosive trap he just lost the game we will play the backstab here on the cat now uh, the only chance for him would be a freezing trap well that's not the case we will just play the agent hit him for two and then the kill command for three that's a snipe so we don't care for that just winning the game let's try a third game and this time it's a rogue versus rogue well, that will be interesting. We are starting here. I we'll definitely want to find some other cards. Well, that is not very good. That might be a pretty fast match. The Edwin is not helping us on turn 3 without other cards to play, so we will not play an Edwin as a 2-2. We will play the weapon next turn, then we can't play anything on turn 3. We have the Tom Pillager for 4 and the Drake for 5, but that might be a bit too slow. So many options. Ah, Shadow Strike, that is something to play for turn 3. Here Hit him here. We could keep the weapon here and not hitting him, but the small damage that we put out early might win the game in the end. Sometimes you're missing one or two damage points and that is when you did not attack with the weapon. So again, we can't play anything else. Just hit him with the weapon. Then turn 4, Tom Pillager, 5 Drake, turn 6, Auctioneer. Hopefully we find some uh, cheap spells alongside. I mean, we have at least or in here from the Tom Pillager, but if we don't find another cheap spell, then that is not that big with the auctioneer. Definitely don't want to draw only one card. So, here comes a coin, and probably Tom Pillager? Probably. Thank you. There you go. The real question is now. If he has a zap in hand. Thank you. Here we go. Because if he has a zap in hand, the Tom Village is of course going back into the hand. That would be bad. We can then push five damage and we lost the turn. Backstab and there comes an agent. Ha, this guy's toast. Sinister Strike. 
Hmm. Okay, right now we need to get rid of the Tom Pillager and the Agent. But do so with the Shadow Strike and the Eviserate. Then we could play the auction next turn with the coin and the Sinister Strike, just hitting him for three to draw two cards. Dropping the Drake. We find a backstep here. Hmm. So we could use the Drake, use the backstep, and clear the Drake on his side. We'll draw another card here. Agent. I really like that to play with the backstep, but unfortunately we can't. So we're taking four more damage. If we find the preparation, we might play the auctioneer. The um, preparation coin sends the strike for three cards. Agent for two in the face. And there's a zap. Zappy zap. Would give him the agent back into the hand. Do we want to? Probably not. I mean, we could definitely, we could definitely do that. So with the coin, we would be at eight. We could play coin, agent, weapon, and then the Edwin. Hmm. If he hasn't, he has not a zap in hand. <laughs> this guy's tough. Here we go. Then we have a six-six Edwin on the board. <laughs> And the agent. Let's see. Still, we are already down to 15. So he can finish us quite fast. Man of knives. And there is a zap. Didn't see if he just got it. Coin. Coin, coin, coin. The Brotherhood shall and also an Edwin. Well, we also have the zap, so that's okay. Let's play the auction now. We will play the zap. Drawing another card. On Pillager, let's hit him with a fancy for three. And potentially we see the auctioneer dying this turn. But that need not be the case. There's also the possibility that he can't clear the auctioneer. Even with six cards in his hand. At least one of those is useless with the Edwin. Definitely not a destruction card. strike definitely in his range there oh concede that was a surprise now yeah, I don't know why he was conceding but okay the auctioneer was apparently too scary for him so another victory with the deck running pretty good so please check it out guys if you want to have a good um, broke deck list